Hi guys, I'm super excited in this video because you and me are gonna do a hair challenge together. I had a bit of a light bulb moment going, hmm, I actually haven't done any hair challenges for the year 2018. Can you believe it? Like zero hair challenges. And I'm thinking, mm, it's never too late, right? It's never too late. So we're gonna actually do one now. I wanted us to do it together so we can all bounce off um, each other's ideas, you know? Nobody knows everything and, you know, we can learn from each other. So I wanted to find a way to sort of put it out there so that everybody is involved, everybody who can. And I would love for you guys to join. Um, I am so inspired by you guys. I mean, I've had a few messages from you talking about edges um, and breakage. Those are probably the, and growing natural hair. So these questions, I've had them come quite often a few months past now. And I'm thinking there's a real need um, to support each other when it comes to growing your edges because they're so fragile, they just vanish. You know, you do one thing to them and they're gone. <laughs> but a particular instance that has actually inspired me to do this challenge is when one of you sent me a message saying with a picture of how your edges had gone back this is a few months ago about three or four months back you know you sent me a picture and yes the edges were in trouble <laughs> the edges were in trouble um, and I asked you about um, essential oils tea tree rosemary um, or mint peppermint you said you didn't have access to that so I suggested cayenne pepper cayenne pepper and some oils keep it simple right this girl has been using that concoction for like two weeks and guys I'm just gonna show you before and after you won't believe this so this is how her edges look before the cayenne pepper right pretty bad they are receding and this is a hair two weeks after I was inspired you know when I see results I feel like what I'm doing and you know, what I'm advocating for is not in vain. Coming here, spending time editing videos, you know, putting things out there for us to all be able to go through a hair journey without too much stress is not in vain. So I'm super excited. I was also inspired just a few weeks ago when one of you sent me a message saying you wanted to grow your edges and your hair through my page. That means a lot to me. That means a lot to me. It's a challenge for me to be able to be a little bit more structured with the information I put out there and also all the posts, the videos that I'm making. I want them to be relevant to what you guys need. So um, if you have any questions or any concerns or any video you'd like me to make, comment below and I will be sure to do that. Are you guys in? Are you guys in? Because I'm in. <laughs> okay, so First of all, before you start the challenge, you want to make sure that you do a length check. If you're into this, you can do a length check. You can do a length check, you know, everywhere here, top, up, you know, at the back. Um, but if you're lazy like me, you know, I'm just going to measure my front. This is not my hair, by the way. Um, these are clippings. I'll come closer so you can see it in a minute. Take a picture. You can post it underneath this video or, you know, keep it for yourself. It's better if you post it so we can see your progress and also so we can encourage each other, right? And then a month after, so we'll start the challenge 1st of November um, and the 1st of December, we will all start posting our results, okay? And also the challenges that we may have faced during the challenge. <laughs> challenge in a challenge. Um, and also results to encourage each other, right? I'm super excited about this. If you're on Facebook, I will be pinning this post to Facebook for the entire month of November so you guys can have quick access to it and the instructions for the challenge. So apart from uh, doing a length check, you want to make sure that your edges are free. There's absolutely no reason for you to do this challenge if your edges are stressed, if your edges are strained, if you're not moisturizing your hair, you know, if you're not sleeping on silk or satin, I mean, <laughs> your, your edges will break, okay? So try to do protective styles that leave your edges free. And I'm gonna show you what I have. You might not have these clip-ins with you. You might have, you might do maybe African threading. Can you believe I've got African threading below here? Who would ever guess? 
right? Oh, well, I guess you can guess. <laughs> you can't get, you can see um, on the sides. But I'm just gonna show you my edges and what I'm talking about. So I've got access, I actually twirl my edges to group them, you know, apparently there's strength in numbers, we know that. But I group my edges and these are my edges currently and edges fluctuate guys. This month they might be like this, next month they might be um, thicker or healthier and the next month there's something else but this is what I'm dealing with this means that I've got access to my hair every single day right every single day every single night I can access my hair and my scalp in the clipping so the styles I'll recommend is to do you know twists with your own hair and then put a hairpiece at the top or just leave them as they are if you're comfortable with that the styles are great because they leave your edges free your edges hate stress so um, other styles, I mean you can wear a wig, but because because we're trying to fix edges, it's probably best that you don't have something sitting on your on your hairline every single day. You know what I mean? Let me know if you have any other uh, let me know if you have any other ideas for hairstyles. You can just leave your hair out, obviously stretched, but then your your edges need to be free. So a no no when it comes to you know your edges is going from protective from protective style to protective style you don't want to you know be handling your hair like your your edges need to breathe basically they need to be left alone so, if so you don't want to go from fishtail braid mini twist weave your hair is just stressed every single time the time for your hair to actually turn over and grow is not enough because you just keep doing things to you know it's like they're chasing each other the hair is trying to grow but you do something to interrupt that you know so it just keeps breaking and 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 breaking and, breaking. and before you know it the follicle gets upset and your hair doesn't grow anymore you don't want to get to that stage because that's a that's a bad place to be. It's even harder to stimulate and bring back your follicles to life. So while you still have them, treat them with care. The rule of the game is that your edges need to be free so you have access to them. So I'm just going to go ahead into my kitchen and show you guys what we're going to do for the challenge. Measure two tablespoons of cayenne pepper to six tablespoons of any oil of your choice. Place it into the fridge for about three days to two weeks and then drain it into an applicator bottle. Before you apply it to your scalp, make sure you do a patch test so you make sure it's not uh, too strong for you. If it's too strong, dilute it with more oils. So we'll be applying this every other day to our scalp and massaging it for about five minutes. Um, definitely use essential oils instead of cayenne pepper if you're not into cayenne pepper or just a plain oil. So that's it guys, that's all you need. If you don't have the ingredients um, that I've listed here below, even just the plain oil will do. Plain oil and massage your scalp, right? Massage your scalp and we're gonna see results here. We, we want results. So are you ready? Are you in? If you're in, comment below. Um, if you'd like to join the challenge, definitely. I'd like to make this as interactive as possible. So do you want to grow your edges? Are you in?